December 10th, 2003. My frozen hands tremble as I fumble to work my little butane lighter. The tips of my fingers are raw and bloodied. I wince in pain with every failed attempt to spark a flame. Finally, I achieve a jittery fire, which impatiently dances atop the lighter. I carefully lower it to my pile of kindling. The fire catches, cautiously, creeps out and spreads until it's a healthy size. I watch it for a while, tend to it until it's strong. Now there's enough light to see around me, and enough heat to survive the night. Here, deep in the forest with everything frozen and quiet, the only light and sound comes from my fire. The whole world to me right now. It dances and sings in a raspy, crackling voice to me. I'm happy to enjoy its company. You can almost imagine that I can hear it whispering and babbling happily. So cold. I must be tired. I'm hearing things. The popping and sizzling of the fire is really beginning to sound like words. Maybe I'm just lonely here. Maybe I just really want someone to talk to. Coherence in the chaos of the fire. Could have sworn I heard it say, It's so cold. There it was again. Softer this time. I lean closer to the blaze and its warmth caresses my face, setting me at ease. I'm listening intently now. Anxious for what I'll hear next. If you let me die tonight, you'll die tonight. There's no mistaking it. It said it clearly, albeit in the raspy, sing-songy voice of a fire consuming wet branches. Yet, even as the words became clearer, they became softer, drawing me in closer to make out the next statement. The warmth splashes over me as I inch my face closer, and the frost that had settled in my bones begins to thaw. The fire's speaking constantly now, chattering quietly to itself. I can only pick out bits of words and portions of sentences. Get closer. Watch closely. If I die, you die. I'm the only thing keeping you alive. Pay attention. The fire ends its tirade with a loud snap of burning wood. And it's quiet. I lean in closer. Eager to receive whatever secrets is coming next. The heat's no longer pleasant. It sears me as the flames playfully lick at my face. The fire is being coy. It's teasing me with its silence to see how long I'll wait on it. Smoke reaches into my nostrils and... The embers float carelessly from the heart of the fire into my eyes. Which are now welling with ash. I don't care. I want to hear what comes next. Closer... Pay attention. Watch closely. Now, more than ever. In other news, the charred body of an unidentified man was found deep in the mountains in the forest east of the city. Investigators have stated that the man appeared to have caught fire while sitting by his campfire and inexplicably did not appear to have made any effort to extinguish himself. His burned remains were found frozen in position by the icy temperatures, leaning over the ash of a long-extinguished fire. In what is perhaps the most bizarre detail of the grisly scene, the man is reported to have been found with an expectant smile still on his face. Hey there, kids, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta, and I still have a wonderful little throat cold, or whatever you'd like to call it, but I wanted to go ahead and give a quick shout-out thank you to these coolest kids in school, the patrons. <laughs> a big thanks to Eric Mary, Daniel Polson, Trace Miles, Twinkie, Ken Lando Higuchi, Brianna Ventine Jensen, Nicholas Ayasin, Glenda Hernandez, Tyler Ramberg, Jazzy G, Asia, 
Mercer Virus 2, and Sandy Barney. You guys are like the MVPs, the the MCP MVPs. I should, I should, I should cut that bit. That, that sounds terrible. Thank you guys so much for being patrons and helping me stay alive. If you guys are big fans of this story, or of David Fueling in general, which I know I am, you guys should check out the link in the description down below that'll take you over to his latest book. David has been writing creepypastas for a really long time, but he also writes a lot of, like, sci-fi stories. And this is his latest novel, Akdara. I really hope I'm saying that right, The Recurring Trait. It's sci-fi with, like, a whole alien futuristic AI system type of plot. So, I mean, honestly, like, this is one of those things where if you guys want to get to know authors beyond just their creepypasta works, as well as see, like, full novels, which is something that I can't do on YouTube, now's your chance. Check out the link, check out Akdara, The Recurring Trait by David Fueling, and thank you so much, guys, for listening. Sweet dreams. <laughs>